beautiful human. Welcome back to another episode of the Returning Home podcast, hosted by yours truly, Lin Lim. And in today's episode, I'm going to be diving deep into the topics of spirituality, spiritual awakening, and traveling, and how traveling around the world can help you to support your spiritual awakening, how it can trigger your spiritual awakening, how it can activate your spiritual awakening. I'm going to be sharing with you my experience with my journey, my spiritual journey, and traveling has been the biggest part of it, why I started to awaken. And I'm also going to link this to past lives and how certain location can boost to activate your DNA, helping you to reconnect with certain memories, certain wisdom, certain, certain spiritual connections that you have. So without further ado, let's hop right in today's episode. So the reason that I wanted to create this episode is because I'm currently changing my location or I've changed my location. As you can see, I'm back in my home country and this caused me to reflect and look back at how this influences my energy because it does. It does. And you might recognize that as well. Whenever you change your location or you go back to your home country of origin, you reconnect with your roots. There is something that happens to you energetically. And the other way around, when you move away from it, energetically, a lot of things happen. And before we are physical beings, first and foremost, we are spiritual beings. We are energy. Everything is energy, physics, um, science does support that everything is energy and energy is never lost. It can only be transferred. And so first and foremost, if you change your location, it's going to affect you energetically. And I think that if you've traveled to different places in the world, you can resonate with that. You, you sense how different you feel, how you need to get accustomed to that culture, to that vibration that is there, how you need to get accustomed to different kinds of values and things, little tiny things that you're so used to in your own environment that just are so different from home, from where you were. And every time that I travel either back to my home country or when I go somewhere else, I really feel this intensely and it affects my energy. And so this has negative sides as well as it has positive sides. For me, coming back to my home country is always kind of... It's great because I get to see my family. I get to see the people that I love very, very much. And at the same time, it is shocking to me because every time I get back, I see the difference in how different I am, how much I've grown, which is great but can also be a little bit confrontational, especially when you see that other people haven't changed or your surrounding hasn't changed and you need to find a new balance in your new way of being, being in an old environment. And of course, everyone is always changing and evolving, so nothing ever stays the same. People who choose to live where they used to live, they change. So, you know, everything changes and you need to find a new balance, a new way to connect, a new way to feel great within that energy. So that aside, <laughs> that aside, um, I thought it would be nice to just give a little bit of a context where I am today and where I'm right now. My spiritual awakening 
started when I started traveling. Now, the initial part that kind of kickstarted my spiritual awakening was my depression, and you'll know that if you've been listening to my content. However, going away, traveling the world was something that really, really, really opened up my eyes and really helped me to expand my mind, to expand my energy and to basically go over all the things that I thought were normal that weren't normal at all. I mean, when I was traveling to Asia and kind of poorer countries, when you compare it to the Western standard, I felt so grateful for having been, for growing up in an environment like that, because I suddenly saw what kind of privilege it was for me to be born in a certain country, not necessarily choosing my location and now i know much more than back then because of course when you come here to planet earth you choose your family you choose your location or at least that's how i look at it um but yeah i mean we choose where we grow up we choose our parents on a vibrational vibrational um level right we don't choose our challenges just because we want to suffer we go th- we choose our challenges and our circumstances our family the people that we grew up with because on a soul level we want to learn a certain lesson and expand ourselves and um evaluate in that way so this is something that i definitely felt when i traveled for the first time to countries that were very very much different and it opened up a whole new world in my own world in my energy bubble that i was living in and it shifted my perspective and not only did it shift my perspective it activated a certain energy within me that i didn't know existed um And this was all kind of leading me into my spiritual awakening. I wasn't at all reading spiritual things at the time. I wasn't at all aware that a spiritual thing was a thing and it even existed. I only found out about those things later when I started to look for answers. I started to look for things that I just couldn't explain, didn't have the words for. I tried to explain people what was happening to me and no one seemed to really understand or to know what was happening. They only saw that I was changed and some of the people around me maybe hoped that it was a temporary thing. Um, But yeah, I think when you're moving through a spiritual awakening, you can definitely relate to that. It's, It's a big change and it's deep and you'll notice that everything around you will change and will need to adjust to your new vibration because like i said everything is energy and so anything is energy our reality needs to readjust to the new energy that you are emitting that you are being in that moment and that's what i believe a spiritual awakening is it's a vibrational shift It's a shift in frequency and this shift in frequency, whether that's because our mind has had the chance to basically open up or whether it's been our hearts. And that's why our energy shifted or our energy shifted. And that's why our mind had to shift too. It can be both. And this is what you will find when you are traveling all these impulses get activated and a very interesting thing what i found was that because i went to very very interesting places looking back now if i look back at my spiritual awakening journey and how this has related to traveling the very first country that i chose to go to was nepal i went there with my brother and we did such a beautiful hike in the himalayas and we we were spending time there for almost two weeks and 
that was kind of the kickstart of us reflecting on our lives reflecting on everything imagine that you're walking hours and hours and hours through these you know mountain areas and you have all these big mountains around like 5,000 meters 7,000 meters 8,000 meter mountains it's crazy it's so intense and then dealing with yourself dealing at the time i was also suffering from asthma so i had a lot of asthma issues and i definitely underestimated the impact that that would have on my asthma issues at the at that time because if it was very dusty i had all these animals and donkeys walking around it was very dusty of course the altitude you really really notice so we went through an entire journey not only in the mountains but inward dealing with our own physical limitations our mental emotional limitations and it all came to the surface and when you look at the geographic location people say that the himalayas are the crown chakra of the earth meaning that we went way into the spiritual center of the planet you know the crown chakra symbolizes our connection with spirit with the universe with something that's so much grander than that we are and so this is how i kick-started my spiritual journey and then i went to multiple places on the planet but I ended up going to Bali and if you've been listening to my channel you know that I met the love of my life over there but not only that when you look at the location of Bali I actually know that there are several places on the planet where there are energy vortexes I mean they're everywhere energy vortexes is similar as a chakra within our bodies our bodies have different energy fields different energy centers which we call the chakras but you can also describe them as vortexes it's this spiraling energy that kind of creates a portal and we have similar locations on our planet when you look at your body and you look at the earth there are a lot of similarities mother earth mother gaia also has those vortexes and so bali is one of those the spiritual energy over there is very very strong i know hawaii and some other uh, places in the world i know there are some in england as well um, there but there are many many more that i don't even know of but what i know for sure is that bali is one of them and so i went to bali I stayed there for around four months or three months uh, back then for the first time and that was where I started to see through the veil of forgetfulness. I started to see through a lot of different things that were happening within our society and it was shocking to me. I went through a lot, a lot, a lot of aha moments and insights and many beautiful things. Um, and I started to receive downloads for the first time and I didn't know what it was. I had no clue it was even called a download. I just had information dropped in my mind about the universe, about, you know, cosmic things that one would not think of right i wasn't doing this consciously it was just such random information that was just dropped in my mind and i remember feeling for the first time like what was that i mean it was great it felt great but where did it come from and then only months later I started to read about manifestation and spirituality and downloads and I was like that's what it was that's what it was I started to finally kind of explain and see what these kind of weird drops of information were and these things that I was experiencing I finally could find words for it and explain it in my mind and understand better what was happening to me 
But I do believe that when we move to these different locations in the world where our energy gets literally activated, that's when our spiritual awakening can be accelerated, right? It can be expanded suddenly because we are in the environment, we are in the energy that allows us to do that. And so that was very interesting. And I do believe that's one of the reasons why people come to Bali and are so attracted to it because there is a very, very special energy there that literally attracts people to heal, to move through emotional problems. And I'm getting full body chills right now. Um, so that is one thing. There are places in the world that have energy vortexes and you might feel attracted to those places as well they're very appealing another thing that i'd love to talk about and that really really links well to this is that after i came back i think around a year later or maybe a year and a half later i did this akashic record reading and one of the things that popped up was that I had connections in Bali and so we all have past lives and I mean if you're attracted to my channel you probably believe the same is that we do have had many many past lifetimes and we do have many future lifetimes right our life doesn't end just with this one life YOLO you only live once doesn't really exist anymore and so that's something that I that, that came up in the reading and I wasn't really surprised because they said that uh, or the women who I will have on my podcast very very soon and we'll talk more about the Akashic records and what they really are she explained that I really, really needed to go there. I needed to go back because that's where I had my roots, meaning that in a past lifetime, I was living there or close to that place, but it was really, really related to that certain location. So I do believe that when we go back to places where we have lived or once lived, there is an energy within us, within our DNA, within our cells that gets reactivated and we can access that wisdom from that time in our lives and that's for me explains the downloads it explains why suddenly i've i had those experiences because i used to be there and it's the only place in the world where i truly truly feel home and so I would love to invite you to listen to those feelings. If you go to a certain place within the world where you really feel home, then it's probably a sign that you're familiar there. You know it there. You just feel a different energy that's activated in you. For me, it's not only the ocean. It's not only surfing in Bali that I love so much. It's really the feeling of belonging, feeling of feeling home. And that is something as star seeds, as light workers, I do know that we kind of crave, we feel like we've been put on this planet with this big mission to fulfill and we don't really fit in. We don't really feel like we really belong. And so this is something that you might find as well when you start to travel to places where you just really feel attracted to then there might be something more than just being attracted to that place maybe you've had a past lifetime there and when you go there it could support you in your spiritual journey in your spiritual awakening and getting to know different parts of yourself even if it's just an energetic shift even if it's just something that happens within you without you knowing it consciously let me know in the comments if there were any aha moments and let me go know where you guys are tuning in from because i'd love to get to know you of course only if you're tuning in from youtube don't forget to like this video and 
share this video with anyone who you think could benefit from this message right now. And if you're tuning in from Apple Podcast or Spotify, be sure to give this podcast a five-star review. If you do enjoy these episodes, it literally takes a few seconds and it will really, really help me to grow, to keep doing this and to keep spreading content like this to all of you. So thank you so much for doing that. And check out my new Lightworker merchandise, which you can find in the link in the description below. I'm very, very excited about how this all turned out. You can see it. I'm wearing the Be Free t-shirts, but there is a lot of beautiful quotes and things that you can find um, on my shop. You would really, really support me to keep posting content like this, to keep doing stuff like this. So thank you so much for supporting my channel if you love to and uh, for spreading the message of consciousness awakening with the world as you're wearing the Lightworker merchandise. And yeah, I really think that that was it for today. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Keep growing, keep shining, and keep being your beautiful self. I'm looking forward to see you in the next one. Bye for now.